That's so awesome. Okay, so we're building a, a fruit guillotine. It's gonna be super exciting. So we got all kinds of crap. We got blade, pulleys and shit. We got wood. The main part of the guillotine, which is these drawer tracks. All right, let's, let's talk about how this is gonna work. But real guillotines uh, fall and the force of that falling chop things off, like, like a head off a person. I'm not gonna get that kind of speed because these are not that long, right? They're only 12 inches. Here's the design. This is the blade part, and this is the actual guillotine frame part. So basically what we're talking about here is I'm gonna be using this elastic to basically add power to the guillotine. So instead of making you do all the work from gravity, I'm now instead gonna use rubber bands. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make a frame out of wood for this guy, the blade. We got the drawer track in between the wall and the blade. And then when this guy slides down, right, like the blade will, that down sliding will chop the fruit. I feel like this needs lube. I bought cheapo drawer track. Here. So, I test fit the pieces. Everything fits together as it should, so we got a nice big guillotine. Gotta cut this guy at an angle so it'll do the guillotining part. I mean, that's not bad, that's, that's a pretty decent edge. See that? That's, that's a freaking blade, man. There's no tool rest, so this is dumb shit, don't do it at home. Hey, yeah, that'll slice you up. Don't do it, don't be a statistic. Ow. Oh, I'm leaving that in. Also have these frame pieces Cut to size. Oh, this is gonna be big. I mean, it's still like kitchen sized, I guess. Shoop. And slice the living crap out of like whatever's in here. I mean, that's gonna work pretty well. I now just have two pieces of metal stuck. Like mm. yeah. Holy shit, that was harder than Excalibur. For sure. Fuck King Arthur. King Arthur suck my dick. All right, so I tossed this in the oven last night um, and reformed it, and now it's nice and flush and everything. So the next big thing that has to happen, time to finally mount the drawer slides. Ah! Let's see if this thing works. All right, that's a good sign. Oh. That's awesome. One is obviously, you know, this kind of thing. Holy shit. I think that's as much as I can possibly do in terms of assembling this thing. Now all there is left to do is test it out. Let's go chop some shit. Damn, this is heavy. Do you find it challenging to cut simple meats, fruits, or vegetables? 
Well, boy, do we have a solution for you. F that shit. Introducing the kitchen guillotine. Oh, boy. Here's how it works. First, lift the blade, insert your item, and then chop, chop, chop some more. Slice right the f up. That's like a perfect slice. Use it on your eggplant. Try it on tomatoes. Yeah, it does. He cuts tomatoes. And watch as it chops through this whole cantaloupe like butter. That's so awesome. Yes, it is. This is a menace to the kitchen. Having a tough time removing the corn from your cup? You peel that away. The kitchen guillotine makes it easy and safe. Definitely gonna. Just line up your corn, and the kitchen guillotine does the rest. Trying to make chicken but don't have the time? The kitchen Ugh. guillotine will chop your work in half. Ew. So, what are you waiting for? Order now! Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this one, slap a like on it. If you didn't, let me know down in the comments what you didn't like or what you'd rather see in a future video. I try to upload every couple weeks, so if you like seeing dumb shit like this, you're in the right spot. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I don't just like this dumb crap, I love this dumb crap. And if that's you, you can help me out by supporting me on Patreon. You can click right here, go check that out. Yeah, I think that's all for now. See you guys next time, and uh, yeah, peace out.